Tell me if you ever heard this song. She's just nine years old. Leave her alone, you pedo at CNN. Separated by fake news. CNN producer. Hold on, let me give you my surprise face. Ready, go. Oh, my surprise face. Here it is. CNN producer arrested, accused of raping children as young as nine. Fake news CNN said anything with certain conspiracies alphabet, certain letter of the alphabet, and the whole Pizzagate thing. That was all conspiracy. There's no such thing. I was underground tunnel of uh, children. <laughs> they were blasting 24-7 when that was coming out. These cons right-wing conspiracy theorists about raping children. <laughs> so let me get this right. Your own effing network. Top-level guys. Just got accused and arrested, but accused of raping children as young as nine. A senior producer at CNN has been arrested in charge with inciting minors as young as nine to engage in unlawful sexual activity. Between April and July of 2020, John Griffin, who worked on the CNN show New Day, allegedly used online messaging applications to communicate with the purported parents of minor daughters, according to a Vermont grand jury indictment. Indict, I I, CNN, I do I. Indict, I do I. Look who's with him. Fredo Cuomo of CNN, who was just recently fired. Oh, Chris Cuomo says he can't, he can get me blessed by Pope Francis, thanks to my giant baby head. Let's try it, shall we? Well, when I hear the word pedophile, rapist, children, I'm not surprised to see an image of the Pope on the background. Uh, you know, the Catholic Church. Fredo in the middle, and this weirdo, who is the dude who's been arrested, FYI. But what, <clears throat> what do I know? I'm just a right-wing conspiracy theorist. <laughs> That turns out to be right, given enough time. Like, I'm going to go ahead and say it, all conspiracy theories have been. Given enough time, the 44-year-old CNN producer from Stamford CT, Connecticut, who worked shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with Chris Cuomo, according to the Daily Mail, used Google Hangouts and Kick to convince the mothers that a woman is a woman regardless of her age. And that woman should be sexually subservient to, and inferior to men. I'm going to try that with my wife tonight. The subservient part. See how that goes. Evelyn, you ain't serving me, son. In June of 2020, Griffin advised a mother of 9 and 13 year old daughters that the mother's responsibility was to see that her older daughter was trained properly. Griffin later transferred over $3,000 to the mother for plane tickets so the mother and her 9 year old daughter could fly from Nevada to Boston uh, Logan Airport the mother and child flew to Boston in July of 2020 where Griffin picked them up in his Tesla and drove them to his Ludlow house at the house the daughter was directed to engage in and did engage in unlawful sexual activity and of course Jack Posobia great guy on Twitter Reading this indictment will make you sick to your stomach. And I haven't even read it yet. I don't need to. So, Fredo, Chris Cuomo, was recently fired because he used CNN's tools their tool, in their toolbox to look up all the accusers of his brother for sexual misconduct. And that's why we're firing him. We're firing him because of that. Are you kidding me? 
using what the internet you have some special database cnn you, you get law enforcement access to a special fbi database no you don't but you will have an fbi agent call you and say hey roger stone's going to be arrested live we're going to swat team him tomorrow be there you will get that but you don't have no damn database law enforcement database at your disposal so what tools did did he really use to look up the women uh, what the effing internet yeah, I paid $10 for, you know, whitepages.com to give me the, um, give me a break. And then this happens. And him, Cuomo, I'm talking Chris Cuomo, and this CNN producer were besties, baby. Besties. You Do you think Chris Cuomo knew anything about this? So Chris Cuomo gets fired for using whatever tools he used to look up the accusers of his brother. The disgraced former governor or uh, governor of New York, only to be replaced with another effing criminal, deep stater lady. We're going back into lockdowns now. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you what I think. Chris Cuomo was fired way in advance because right after that, he all of a sudden gets a sexual uh, misconduct, whatever allegation from a, I think a female uh, staffer or somebody. I forget who it was now. I, 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 don't have the story in front of me. But that was very recent. After they fired him for the other thing. Then that comes out. Oh, okay. Right. So Chris, Chris Cuomo is gone. His brother is gone. Hold on. And I keep telling you. If Biden and the Democrats, the deep state, are still in charge... They got the House, they got the Senate, they got the presidency. What about the election? Doesn't matter about the election. Doesn't matter. He's the man right now, right? I mean, right? But he goes to stage settings inside another building next to the White House to do... I, I know. But he's the president. He's the, he's the president of the free world. And he's a Democrat. Biden. And he's got the House. The House and the Senate. He's got everything. And you think... You think they couldn't just continue to cover this up and do nothing about it? Of course they could. If they're really in charge. I mean, why wouldn't they? Because if one goes down, that one's going down, that one's going down, that one's going down. At the same time, Ghislaine Maxwell's trial's happening and she's naming names. It's all happening at once. This is incredible. And Joni Patri, who is a astrologer on YouTube, I was just watching one of her videos a couple days ago about the next six weeks, eight weeks, or, you know, next few months, basically, from now until, I think, as long as March or April. So that'd be more than six weeks. But uh, Cliff High was talking to me about six weeks um, in an email with me, I think, at Bix and JC, maybe. Um, and he's saying, get ready, 11th or 12th, Cliff is, 11th or 12th, uh, I've never seen emotional data numbers assigned to my, my my target words or whatever. As high as they are, they're off the charts. I've never seen anything like this. Starting around the 11th or 12th is when this, you know, starts from according to my data, whatever this is, and I don't know what it is. But we're going to find out in the next six weeks or so. Get ready for something. And he goes, uh, whatever we've been dealing with this whole time, we're about to find out the real reason about what's really happening and why we dealt with this. Well, I think it's here. And as soon as I, I go, you know, I, I got a sneaky suspicion. This whole thing's going to be about the Ghislaine Maxwell trial. And all these people are going to be exposed. And they're all going to crumble. And they're all going to be taken down. That would be pretty huge news. If there was, in fact, and I do say if, if there was, in fact, a global trial trafficking network. And even if there's not a trafficking network, an abuse network. And all of your favorite talking heads on TV and CNN and, and MSNBC and the producers and the owners and just effing everybody at the top are somehow doing this shit. Again, I'm saying if. I'm not saying I know this. Um, again, Cuomo's brother, see ya. Cuomo himself, the, the younger brother, see ya. Top producer of CNN, see ya. 
Two FBI agents recently, you know, fairly recently, lied about the Russia investigation, collusion, nonsense about Trump, Sussman or whatever. That's one of the last guy. See ya. You're going. You're in trouble. And I keep saying it. If they're in charge, the deep state's really, really in charge, and they've got everything now. You wouldn't even be hearing about these things. They wouldn't be happening, and that's why you wouldn't hear about them. But they are happening. And Joni Patri says next several weeks to month, a couple months. Get ready. Things that you never, she says, never, ever, ever would thought even possible are going to happen. And you will be absolutely shocked thinking there's no way that's going to happen. And it happens. So I'm seeing people getting arrested. And the big child uh, pedophile thing is coming up now all of a sudden. From one of the main sources of real disinformation, CNN, who tried to poo-poo the conspiracy theorists about child trafficking. Got him. Who's next? Take care.